it's easy to go handheld, it's easy to throw it on a gimbal and travel with it. There are, of course, a whole bunch of limitations to it. So a lot of times I like to completely build this out, if I can, into a nice cinema rig that is powered by one battery and very ergonomic and it looks much more professional on set and does a great job at getting me beautiful footage. So let's get started. That took a couple minutes to get on. Total pain in the butt. Every time you swap a lens, you can see only black, no weird gaps. So I think this rig is coming along pretty nicely so far. What do you guys think? Got this D-tap cable to micro USB and we're gonna get that all plugged in. The next thing that we need is the wireless transmitter. So a lot of times I am shooting on set with a wireless transmitter so that the director can see what I'm doing and the client can see what I'm doing or if I want to use a wireless follow focus and have a focus puller do something for me, they can get that signal. So I put this quarter 20 mount on there using the cold shoe and then I'm going to put the Hollyland Cosmo 600 on there. But looking down on it, yes, I can see all my settings here. Let's take a look at the follow focus. Works so smooth. Nothing's shaking, nothing's wiggling, no movement. It's extremely solid. <clears throat> Hi, it's Israel Emmanuel, and welcome back to my channel, Israel the Filmmaker 2. And uh, today, y'all, I'm just going to be doing a filmmaking tip video. I'm going to be making, this is going to be another filmmaking tip video. And this filmmaking tip video is basically going to be on um, cameras, um, cinema cameras, uh, filmmaking cameras. Um, and by the clip. And the clip that I just showed y'all at the begin the at the beginning of this video, the clip that I just showed y'all at the beginning of this video, is actually from another filmmaker on YouTube. He's actually another filmmaker on YouTube. He was showing y'all how he put together his Sony uh, cinema camera together, where you build all of it and you could like hold it like this, and when you know like making a film or something like that. His um his channel is his name is Chadwin Smith. Um yeah, his name is his name is Chadwin. His mate his name is Chadwin Smith. Uh yeah, Chadwin Smith. So you could go to his channel. His channel is his name. His channel name is his name, Chadwin, Chadwin Smith. You could look at his original video. On his channel, just look up Chadwin Smith. I'm going to put it in the comments down below where you can find his video at. Um, you can look up his channel name, Chadwin Smith. Um, the video is called Turning... The video is called Turning My Sony A7S Into a Cinema Camera. So what he basically did was showing y'all how... Because his camera was like this. In the video, you he'll you'll see when you see his video. His video was like his camera was like this and that, but he kept on building it, putting tripods and all that stuff together, and made it like this, where you could where it looks like a cinema camera, like they use in movies. So, so basically, so I'm gonna take my put my take on it. I put his. I put a clip, some clips of his video in my video, just to show y'all example. Cause you know, me and Chadwin were both me and Chadwin were both filmmakers, so I just showed his part of his um him showing how he put his filmmaking camera together. Cause I think he's he's a filmmaker as well. So I'm gonna put up my point. Yeah, so like Chadwin what Chadwin was saying, you basically have to you have to basically you got you got to have the right camera for the right project. You know, because you want the quality to be good. You want the sounding to be good. You want the sounding to be on point. You want the uh, the visuals to be on point. You want it all. You just want everything to be on point. Because because it makes the project more look more believable. And it looks more 
how I say it looks more it looks more accurate just put it like that it looks more accurate yeah it looks more yeah it's um yeah it um it looks more accurate so you basically have to um you got yeah so basically and you gotta have it like fixed up before so the camera so you gotta know you gotta put it together with a director before it gets to the director so the director knows how to handle this camera that camera how to position this how to position the camera even to get an up close shot you know to get an up close shot they got to know how to position it to make it look believable when it looks actually to get up close shot or get a further distance. Because, you know, sometimes in movies, the camera be very distant from the actual from the actors. But you could zoom in, you know, the camera be um, uh, be um, a distant from the actors. But you, but you could zoom in, you could zoom, this, you could zoom it, you could zoom it closer to them, but the camera is not actually close to them. It's actually got some distance, but you could zoom in where it seems like the camera is close, but really it's not. That's the, that's the whole, that's the whole, that's the whole key of being a filmmaker. You got to make sure your projects isn't basically on point. Because, you know, um, you got to know because you got to have your sets and everything. It's a lot to be a filmmaker. Just to, It's not an easy job. It's not an easy job because if it was an easy job, everybody would be a filmmaker. If it was an easy job to do, everybody would be a filmmaker. There's a lot of filmmakers out there, but everybody in the world is not a filmmaker because they know how hard it is. So basically, I'm not gonna make this video long. So basically, to be a filmmaker, you gotta have the right techniques and the right cameras to make the project look believable. So that's about it for this video, and um, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And welcome back at my channel, Israel the Filmmaker. Welcome back at my channel, Israel. Welcome back to my channel, Israel the Filmmaker Two. And uh yeah, so that's about it. It's Israel. I'm um I'm Israel Emmanuel and thank you for watching this video and have a good day, y'all.